Voilà, let's do a, a third solid. And this time we'll layer, we'll build on top of, a, of one solid. We'll layer like two, three sketch together. So think of a solid of something thick inside, something made of foam, uh, clay, steel, uh, things like this. So line, uh, I could start with a mid, uh, midpoint line if I want it to be really symmetrical. That won't hurt. I should have gone in centimeters, so now I have to edit my sketch. Smart dimension. We'll use um, AD L again to draw, and L to ends. Smart dimension, and I'll use 40. Close the sketch. L again. Track here. Uh, L to M, so extrude to make it 3D, and here we'll put 10 centimeter for the extrusion. So now I'm out of every sketch. I can just select this face, Control 8 to see it clearly, and now I can draw a new sketch. So I'll make sure that I snap, and I'll draw something like this. And as you can as you can see now, nothing is symmetrical. It's just a shape. When I close the sketch, press L to exit, smart dimension, and uh, we'll make this ten. Ten. We don't need to make this one 60 because he knows that this is 80. So he can do the simple math. Look, if I try to do it, he'll tell me <clears throat> um, which one is driving this. You don't want this to happen. It's basically telling you it's overdefined. So go cancel. Uh, here we'll go 15. Uh, and here, I think I was using 15 too. Voila. So now if I go extrude, this line will disappear because the two solid are going to melt together. It's like a Boolean union. Voila. So we can actually build very complex parts just like this.